we see the classic post split, a classic cur play, post, ball entry, and then whoever throws it in screens for the next shooter. So that's Jordan Poole. So that means Wiggins has to go over and screen. There he is. Screen, pool completely open. Just misses it. I like this play. This is a tough play to defend because you have Steph and Jordan Poole screening for each other. So this is what I call a quick split. The ball is not in the post. They don't do this whole maneuver to get the ball in the post. They just throw it to the top. Uh, I believe this is sometimes called the delay set. Mike D'Antoni used to run this. And now it's up top. These two guys run at each other and one of them ends up diving to the basket, one of them ends up popping out. And since they both can pop out and catch and shoot, this is a rather hard play to defend. So it turns out Poole, oh yeah, he must have, I think he really is becoming a disciple of Steph. Like it's not the long threes, it's this hard, seriously hard screen on Steph's man. He absolutely nails Steph's man so Steph can cut back door. The only thing that's stopping Steph from being open is if this man can turn and switch really fast so let's see if he does not at all this man actually steps up i think he's just convinced that he has to stay with jordan pool this guy fought really hard through the screen good screen by pool but that guy fought through pretty well and steph is just going to try to do it with sheer speed what a pass beautiful right on the money and then steph just has like a quarter of a second to put this up Ooh, and he gets fouled too on the way no call. You see him showing the ref that he got grabbed on his arm. Oh, here's another view of the beautiful back screen that Jordan Poole lays down on Steph's guy. Dennis Smith Jr. There. Bam! You can see the impact of the screen there. Steph springs free. Only by step though. Dennis Smith Jr. actually does a pretty good job staying with him, but the pass is so crisp and the layup is instant. Steve Kerr is reluctant to show off any of his really cool out-of-bounds plays. Understandably, you want to save that for the real games. I think this has been the only one I've seen them run. You just get these double screens across the top. Somebody cuts over them, gets the ball. Here the guy just runs around the screens and catches up to Wiggins. This defender, this guy's defending Looney, this guy's defending Draymond. They're not afraid of anything, so they just stay here at home and Wiggins sees this big wall. It is interesting to see Steph giving a real-time tutorial to Wiggins on the Kerr offense. Wiggins is now stuck. He picked up his dribble and he's having a spacing problem. <laughs> there are four Blazers collapsing on him because no one feels like they have to guard Draymond or Looney, right? So this is bad. But Wiggins is gonna look over at Steph here. He's looking, he's got the ball. He's looking over at Steph and Steph is gonna tell him what to do. In point, Steph has got his hand, he's pointing at Draymond. He says, hey, the Kerr offense has a solution to this. You get stuck, reset it, throw it up top, and that's going to trigger a quick split from us. So once this ball comes up to the top, now we too, one of us has to screen for the other. So there, throws at Draymond, and Steph forces the issue. He's not going to negotiate with Wiggins about who's going to screen. He's just going to use Wiggins standing here as a screen. So Wiggins does see that that's happening, and, he's, and he turns it into a proper screen. But Steph is going to turn Wiggins into a down screener. There, bam. Wiggins does protect the family jewels. And now Steph has an, about one step ahead of his man. Draymond, nice pass, and the man can shoot. This play is pretty funny. This is a typical Warriors play where you've got one man coming up. Somebody, in this case Steph Curry, sets a screen and then you get a dribble handoff which turns into a second screen. In this situation, have I mentioned that Steph Curry likes to screen? He seems to have really nailed Damian Lee's defender. So Damian Lee is running unabated to pick up this ball from Looney. So Nurkic, I think he's alertly realizing, oh man, I've got to go over to Damian Lee. Here's Damian Lee's man has freed himself from the clutches of Steph and he's still going to He's still tracking down Damian Lee. Though Nurkic now has switched to Damian Lee, this guy has followed all the way over. Though he's not content to stay guarding Looney and to accept the switch. He just will not accept the switch. But there's this interesting moment here where two guys have come to Damian Lee. 
One defender has to guard Steph and Looney, but this ball pressure, which the Blazers have been working on, I think makes Damon Lee not able to get the ball to Looney. So Damon Lee has to pull out and reset, and as he resets, his man catches up to him, and they re-switch, and Nurkic scrambles back to get Looney. And in fact, his man has caught up so much that he's kind of fronting Looney. So it looks to me like Steph feels like this is another chance to do a, a post split. So usually you'd have the entry to the post and then maybe Damian Lee would set a pick for him or Steph would set a screen for Damian. But in this case, it's, it's actually gonna take more calculation getting the ball to Looney. So you can almost see Steph calculating saying, well, I could get it to Looney or you know, I'm, I'm standing on the Chase Center logo here and I could just fire the ball in my defender's face. Yoink. I like this play. This is like a really edgy reboot of an old fashioned comfortable play. This looks a lot like the old head tap play for Andrew Wiggins. In the old head tap though, you try to set Andrew Wiggins up by screening for him so that he could either post up right here or he would be able to get some kind of zipper cut going with a down screen. But instead, they just turn this into a disguised three-man split. Wiggins screens Draymond's man so that Draymond can get this clean entry. In the three-man split, you've got three fellows and one of them dives to the basket one of them pops out and gets a down screen from the third guy so that's pretty much the play and they have to read each other to decide who's going to pop and who's going to dive but there's the entry and this is something that Steph used to do with clay a bit they used to do this thing where it looked like they were going to go one direction like it kind of looks like pool's gonna go this way and maybe Steph's gonna go that way but then they'll do a full cycle around, kind of ring around the rosy and spin out. So that's what's happened here. So it ended up being the pool was the one diving and then Steph is the one who pops out and gets this down screen. So it's interesting to watch the different ways that Jordan Poole is getting plugged into Clay Thompson's old positions and Poole has been screening a lot for Steph, which is really, really good. I, I think that's really productive. So far this game, that hasn't gotten much for Jordan, but over time, he's gonna have his own gravity, which will make his screens more effective. And also, Steph's gravity is going to get people overplaying and leaving Jordan by himself in order to catch up to Steph. Okay, so Steph gets the pin down. And then, oh, I guess McCollum just, he just got carried away and just fouls Steph's legs. It's actually a little dangerous. And Steph hits it anyway. He's pumping up the crowd. You can see what this play is supposed to be. This is going to be another classic post-split entry pass. And then Wiggins should come and screen for Steph, right? That's the classic split. Entry pass. Wiggins runs over to screen for Steph. CJ McCollum had snuck a peek. I think that's CJ. And he's holding Steph, basically, trying to keep him from getting to the screen. He does not want Steph to come over and take the screen. Wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. So Steph says, you want me to stay away from the screen so bad? I'm just gonna go the other way. I'm gonna backdoor cut you. And this is a pretty nice pass. It's a good rotation to keep Steph from getting the instant layup. But Steph just waits for the jump and then he kind of twirls the ball in. It's just a really cool shot. It's a, it's a backwards reverse layup or something like that. That <laughs> was just pretty. 41 points, pretty good night's work. Of course, this was preseason defense, so you can't read too much into it, but it sure was fun to watch, wasn't it?